Okay, it's Matt Coffey here. Hey, it's another episode of my journal read. Again, I do these journal reads pretty much once a week to make sure that we have uh, folks who are interested in learning the entrepreneurial journey from my eyes. Uh, we've uh, built a digital agency. Uh, we're growing it to seven figures this year for the first time. And we're really seeing some of the cadences that uh, all businesses go through uh, as they sort of mature into the first phase of sort of building out employees. And the point of the journal is to talk about the discoveries I've made and maybe things that can help you in your own discovery as you start maybe potentially bringing a business online or even in life, just thinking about things as you go through your daily uh, habit and structures that these things may end up giving you some advantages of thinking through things a little bit differently. So let's start off today with emotional readiness, believing in the future. So delving into the realm of probability and possibility for the real effectiveness of feelings about business, the overwhelming concept still is about letting go and accepting risk. Now this is very interesting because I look back a year ago, and these journal entries are from various times during the year, I just basically pick one. And I think about the event that we had this May and how uh, we were bringing people along uh, to an event in another country and putting together a plan to bring about 20 people over to literally an event that was fictionally put into my mind. And we constructed it and had an enormously amazing time. But it's really thinking about the higher in altitude we go, the farther away we are from the ground. There's movement, but our wings grow wider. See, confidence carries us above the clouds of yesterday as we dodge the headwinds of the challenges. It's when we have the tailwind of experience that can guide ourselves with the quicker spread of the wings. So really what I'm talking about here in this journal entry is talking about the fact that this experience that I've had in the past helps me sort of move along faster. It'd be very difficult for me to have the confidence to build out a beating on another country in the first couple of years of business. But now it would just seem like automatic. Now I, I'm waiting for the next one, right? So we guide ourselves along gaining this insight really just overreaching thought by listening and accessing the thoughts of others who have endured such challenges we want to learn and grow from these masters. Now, I didn't invent, obviously, a get-together mastermind, but I'd seen a lot of people who had done this. I've never actually been to a international mastermind, but I read, I've been through courses, I've listen to other mentors about how they built theirs, and I did my own. So it's a great story. It's about being, again, emotionally ready to handle making these decisions. Failing or falling does not need to happen, but because we're aware of the data before we make these decisions, it's an important step to maturing our thoughts. Questioning our surroundings is important to never stop improving the position as the 1% of improvements compounds over time. Thinking critically on the needs of the market, in our case, as a digital agency, as a marketing company, we need to grow the company very uniquely to take position in understanding that the models that support our growth factors are really specific. The models that support our growth factor are going to be very stringent on where we put our efforts. Because we've learned over time, if you shotgun approach the growth of a business, it ends up really becoming a challenge over time because you can't concentrate. There's too many business models, right? Too many different ways of people interacting with businesses. The truth about being emotionally ready is to accept the possibility of the growth of the numbers that I want to achieve, and that's paramount. So really thinking around, again, in our case, getting past the seven-figure mark for the first time. It's understanding that we have to really mature our conversations around the people who will give us the answers. Not conjecture, not theory, but K 
case study material about the willingness to push down the mental walls from this day. And this is really what the key of this discussion is about. Lessons are hard. Emotional readiness and being ready to believe in the future that you're going to build is really hard. But, or however, time is much harsher. So it's making the effort to do the things that you need to do to get emotionally ready. And that typically involves looking at other case studies or other mentors or other environments where you can start to really think if they got there, you can get there too. All right. Hope you enjoyed this episode. We'll see you in the next one.